Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors and who rule well. Salutations also go out to the fellow Akim out there on the highways and byways, pushing his truth, all honesty, and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, trying to wake up the remaining hopefully late. All right, this is Naaman with the DC camp. Move my ugly mug down there. What you have here is some fierce judgment. Fierce. And you know, our nation as a whole have worse things, believe it or not, coming to them. We're in a time now, a grace period, and that grace period is for our people to hopefully adhere to what we're saying, not so much what we're saying, but telling you and breaking down these scriptures and it's what the scriptures are saying, all right? We're just the interpreter, the physical, all right? For the Most High's word, all right? It says, man killed, it's from CBS Miami, man killed by 40 crocodiles that pounced after he fell into enclosure. About 40 crocodiles killed a Cambodian man on Friday after he fell into their enclosure on his family's reptile farm. So this is a farm that his family owned. Luan Nam, 72, 72 years old. Now normally you would think someone, an elder status such as this, you know, but this is the point. You never know when these things are happening. Doesn't matter how young you are. Doesn't matter how old you are. It says the Most High is no respecter of persons, right? So your judgment, when it comes, it's going to come. All right? It says the Most High, Psalm 68 and 20. Let's get there real quick. Uh, Psalm 68 and 20. The heading here is the Most High of Sinai and of the sanctuary. And we get down here. It says, he, that is our, talking about Israel now, that is our power, our God, is the God of salvation. And unto the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, the Lord belong the issues from death. He don't give a crap how poor you are, how rich you are, what your status is. All right. It does not matter. So moving on, I don't want this to be too long. It says, uh, the main group of reptiles that set about him tearing his body to pieces and leaving the concrete enclosure at the farm in Sam Rop or reap or wash with blood. Forgive me for mispronouncing that. So, let's get some more here. Let's go to the... All right. Yeah, let's go right here. Uh, let's see. Because here it's dealing with Israel, our people. All right. So how much more the heathen? It goes on, verse 3, Jeremiah 15 and 3, And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Most High Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. A lot of you Jakes, and let's be clear, there's a reason Zechariah uh, 13 and 8 is there. A lot, two-thirds is a lot of Israelites. All right. And a uh, great a vast, I won't say, I'll just say a great majority of which will be the women. All right, because these women have bought into the world, the society. I'm talking about America, but the world at large. All right. And a lot of you Jakes are going to become victims. Much the same as this guy we're talking about here. Some horrible things are going to happen to you because of women. All right. You're either going to be caught out there being a simp and become a victim because 
the person in distress. All that was a setup. All right. Uh, hey, just think about the movie uh, uh, with Denzel. Uh, uh, almost said wrote. Well, that one too, but uh, the Book of Eli. All right. Think about that. Some of you need to go and watch that again because the times are coming. That movie and The Road also. All right. Those are movies you need to get into that that mindset of instead of watching all that stupid shit that Jake's like to watch, that comedy shit making, you know, <laughs> something else to keep you distracted. All right. You're going to wish, I guarantee you, uh, that you pay more attention. Uh, when this shit kicks off. Anyway, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Most High Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, you can insert crocodiles there, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beast of the earth, another one, to devour and destroy. In fact, I said it twice. And I will cause them, well, never mind. So that's the point. We can also go to, uh, we can go to the book of Sirach. All right. 39 and 28. What does it say? There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Whose vengeance? The Most High's. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. The Most High. Again, whose name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Fire and hell, and famine, and death, all these were created for vengeance. And when we go to the next chapter over, verse 9, all right, it says, uh, verse 8, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. All right, another verse here, for those of you that like to foolishly separate the sin from the sinner, I guess you haven't read Sirach or Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, verse 6 in particular. It says, continuing on, verse 9, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. All right, who are the wicked as it pertains to the scriptures? They run the world, Job 9 and 24. All right, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. We're talking about a particular people here. All right, even though others do wickedly, there is a particular people that are the wicked. <clears throat> All right. See, in this three-dimensional setup, you have up, you have down, you have left, you have right. You have life, you have death. You have love, you have eight. Ecclesiastes, third chapter. All right, you have these things. So, whereas you have the good that went off, and that are suffering as a result because they broke the covenant. And you have the wicked that was set up to what? To persecute them. Alright, so let's go real quick. Since we're in the same book. Alright. Let's see if I can go seven back. Here we go. This is Sirach 33. Let's start at 10. And all men are from the ground. And Adam was created of earth. And much knowledge, the Most High hath divided them and made their ways diverse. So what's all with this unity? You know, everybody's equal. No, 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 no. Twelve. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and said near himself. Some of them he hath cursed and brought low. So everybody can't. No, you see, you got to go into these scriptures. These scriptures break down all this. You got this, this, um. New speak, which these wicked so called white people, their biblical nationality is Edom, they are the wicked. Read Malachi, first chapter, verses one through four. All right, it says, But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places, as the clay is in the potter's hand, and the potter is the most high, to fashion it as his pleasure. To back this up, you go to Romans in the New Testament, chapter nine. Start around 20. You need to read the whole thing because it, asks, it answers several questions that Christians don't like to confront because it destroys all that bullshit that they've been taught. So start at the top and read on down. Romans chapter 9. 
As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him, to render to them as liketh him best. Good, verse 14 is my point, good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. So all this, you know, we all can get along and all, we all equal. No, it was never about that, and it never will. You've let the people that the Most High hates, who we will put in their charge as punishment, because we broke, we broke the covenant. We turned our backs. So all this is a lesson to us. Hey, you need me. There's no amount of education that's going to get you out of this. This is your punishment. There's no amount of money that's going to get you out. Because who's ruling over you? Who makes the money? It's the one that hates you. The one, by the way, that the Most High hates. And it says it several times in there. So I'm not speaking out of my ass when I'm telling you this. So things like well, what's happened with this guy here. A lot of this is going to happen to our people. Because you're hard-headed. You're rebellious. All right. You want to believe in sweet Jesus. That he can save everybody. And the Bible never says that. Won't you get some nuts. All right. Along with being able to read and comprehend. And not let your enemy dictate what you believe. And maybe step back and pray. Because it tells you that in James. Let's get that real quick and ask for understanding and ask for wisdom on your own and quit. Oops, I got the wrong one. Hold on. These fake ass preachers that are set up and have been set up all right, to keep throwing our people off. Uh, let's see. Here it is. This is James chapter one, verse five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, again, whose name is Yahweh, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, which a lot of you, a lot of Jakes, don't have. That's why we're in the position that we're in. Nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. And what are these winds that represent? All these doctrines, these bullshit doctrines from any, everything else outside of the scriptures. And again, what happened to this guy here? Goodness. Torn to pieces. While he was chasing a crocodile, out of an egg-laying cage, the crocodile attacked the stick, causing him to fall into the enclosure. Then other crocodiles pounced, attacking him until he was dead, adding that the remains of Luan Nam's body were covered with bite marks. One of the man's arms was bitten off and swallowed by the crocodiles. Mr. Nam was the president of the local Crocodile Farmers Association, but his family may now sell his stock after urging him for years to stop raising the reptiles. So he said, no, nah, I'm going to keep it. That little pride got in the way there. A two-year-old girl was killed and eaten by crocodiles in 2019 when she wandered into her family's reptile farm. So this is the second one in the same family in four years. In the same village, all right, there are a number of crocodile farms around Sam Reap, Sam Reap, however you say it, the gateway city to the famed ruins of Angle Wat. Oh. The reptiles are kept for their eggs, skins, and meat, as well as the trade in their young. That's what you get for eating that, those unclean things. The incident marks at least the second person killed by a crocodile this month. In early May, the remains of a missing 65-year-old fisherman in Australia were found outside I mean, inside two crocodiles. Damn. It's a horrible way to go. The mental aspect of it, knowing that, hey, I'm going to fall prey to this man eating whatever it is, all right, just before 
they take bite out of you that will kill you. All right. Damn. I remember one of those episodes of uh, A Thousand Ways to Die. Uh, what was that channel it used to be on? Um, shit. Uh, fuck. So was it speed? Wait a minute. Oh, man. Anyway. And they had these two uh, trust fund babies. Of course, Edomites. They went over there to Africa. I can't remember which country they were in. And uh, they were so rude to, of course, it was a Jake playing this part. You know, it was uh, dramatized. So uh, he was so put off by them because they were some arrogant fucking crackers. All right. You know, like I said, trust fund babies. So they're like, you know, the master of the universe type pieces of shit. All right. So he just got fucking tired of them. I think he left them out there in the desert and they, you know, passed out. And she woke up. <clears throat> there were a few ants on her, but she looked over at her brother. And there were all kinds of ants just coming out of his mouth. I mean, everywhere. They estimated around 50 million ants. And she woke up to that, and they they were speculating that the only thing that saved her was maybe her perfume. Uh, but she got up and just ran off, and I was like, damn, all them ants. But I heard stories when I was a child, from the time I was a child growing up, about fucking ants. You don't want to get in the way of them fucking ants. All right. But, uh, yeah. Uh, to be eaten alive. Damn. That's fucked up. But. Hey, that's judgment. And like I say, more of that is coming. And people here in America are so fucking spoiled. All right, they're dilly-dallying around with this uh, um, debt ceiling shit, knowing all the time they're going to do what they're going to do anyway. All right, this is just posturing and trying to throw the sin off from the people, you know. Because <laughs> the majority... I won't say the majority, but a vast amount of people still unaware what exactly what the fuck is going on. All right. You know, what this system has to be replaced. And the replacement, of course, is uh, the digital currency, the CBDC. All right. So, uh, yeah, things are going to get worse. It's going to be an interesting summer. Stay tuned. So, uh, once again, I said I'm going to take too long with this. Uh, Hey, 40 crocodiles. God. Hmm. Again, that's judgment. <laughs> hey, so uh, until the next video, hey, shalom.